Greetings. Not so long ago DAWs 3D has released Bridges. They are scripts that allow you to easily transfer your DAWs Studio assets to other popular 3D software. There are a lot of variants here as you can see. But in this video we will look only at the Blender Bridge. Blender is a totally free software for working with 3D graphics. It allows modeling, texturing, animating, sculpting, rendering with two unique engines and a lot more. So transferring DAWs Studio scenes to Blender opens a lot more possibilities to the users. To download and install Blender you just need to visit their website and click on the download. Newest version will be downloaded and you can install it for free. No registration needed. It is now yours to keep, forever. Now we begin installing the DAWs to Blender Bridge. You can find the product itself on the DAWS3D.com shop, link in the description. It is completely free, just add it to your cart and proceed to the checkout, no problems. It needs to be installed both in the DAWS Studio and in Blender. Let's start with the DAWS Studio. Open your installation software. I use DAWS Central, you can use DAWS Install Manager or whatever you like. Find here the DAWS to Blender Bridge and install it. In DAWS Central there is even a separate category called Bridges for an easy access. DAWS Studio installation is done. Now for the Blender. After you open Blender, it should look something like this. This is the default Blender scene. To install Bridge, go to the top bar, click on Edit and Open Preferences window. Here find Add-ons tab. You should be able to find DAWs to Blender Bridge here. Use search function to find it easier. And check the box to enable the add-on. Now the window can be closed. It is time to use the bridge and transfer a character. So back to the DAWs Studio. I have created a simple Genesis 8 male figure and added some hair and clothes to it. Make sure that your object is selected before exporting it. You can see that it is selected by yellow outline in the scene tab. Or by white wireframe corners around the object. To use an add-on you need to click on the scripts from the top bar. Here go to the bridges, Blender, DAWs to Blender. Appeared window proposes to add subdivision to our character. Each subdivision basically doubles the amount of polygons on the character. Which sounds good, as more polygons mean more topology and more details. But in reality too much will kill your performance. Subdivision level 2 even crashed my blender a couple of times. So I recommend to stick with the subdivision 0 at least for now. In the next window just click accept. And wait for the exporting to be finished. After that just open blender. Nothing more needs to be done in DAWS Studio. In Blender you need to open information window on the right. You can do that by clicking on the arrow to the right of navigation controls. Or by pressing the shortcut N key. In this window you should see the DAWS to Blender bridge option at the bottom. Click on it and see the new interface. Here you just need to click on the import new Genesis 3 8 and wait. After some time the figure will appear at the center of your scene. For some reason this rolls the whole viewport, everything seems rotated. To fix that, you can go to the view, viewpoint, front or just press noon pad 1. This fixed the rolled view and now we can see the figure better. The figure has clearly been imported well, all the clothes and hair are in place. Also there is a bunch of green shapes that you can see. These are bones and we will look more into them later. On the top right there are more options. You can set size to be 100 times more, change the rig, make it a rigify rig. Also you can completely clear all pose, use commands for different purposes or delete everything transferred from DAWs 3D. One of the biggest thing about DAWs to Blender Bridge is that it allows you to transfer more than just characters. I have created another Genesis 8 character in DAWs Studio and have changed some materials on it to see how they will transfer. But most importantly, the character is posed and not in the A pose. Let's export it to the Blender. 
while exporting it returns to the default A pose for a moment. Now import the figure in Blender. Character has been transferred successfully and it is posed exactly as it was in DAW Studio. But we are not done yet. We can also export and import any props and environments. So let's add an environment. The free pergola one would fit nicely. Now add materials. Make sure that the whole environment is selected and proceed to export it. In Blender we have a separate button for adding environments. Click on the import new end slash prop. Pergola appears on the screen just as it was in the DAW studio. Fix the view by pressing Noom Pad 1 and let's proceed. It's time to look at the bones more closely. While you are in the pose mode you can control these bones. All the bones together create what is called a rig. For example select the root bone at the bottom and it allows you to move and rotate the whole character at once. Bones are connected and will influence one another. When I have selected a bone, you can see that there is a new overlay appeared. It shows how you can move this bone. Red line indicates X axis, blue line is Z axis and green would be Y axis. So if I would take a rotate tool and will rotate this bone along X axis, it will move along the, the red line. And will stop at the end of the line, so you could not pose your character unnaturally. You can see that all bones after this one are also influenced. This is great and helps with posing process a lot. Same goes if I try to rotate the bone on Z axis. And if I would rotate it along Y, nothing will happen, because this bone can't rotate in this way. Though each bone is different, next bone easily rotates on the Y axis and can't be rotated on X, for example. Returned figure to the original pose. Along with the character, pose and all the assets, materials has been transferred to. Select any part of the body in object mode and go in the material properties to see the materials and all the settings. You can modify any materials and change how they look. But we can't see the materials right now. To see them, we can turn on the material preview shading. This shading utilizes one of the two main rendering engines in Blender, EV Renderer. We can already see all the materials on their places. Let's hide the rig for now to see them better. EV is a real-time rendering engine, which means that it renders very fast, basically instantly. That is why it is used a lot as a viewport preview engine. And of course it is not realistic and physically based as it is supposed to render fast. Figure's feet are stuck in the ground a bit, so fix that. Now let's look closer at how our materials look. Overall not bad, but skin looks weird. It feels like it is very wet and made of plastic. Hair also look nothing like it should. We can choose a different HDRI to change the lighting and see if it looks better. But it does not help at all and skin looks even more wet. In the render properties of Eevee you can turn on the ambient occlusion and screen space reflections to add shadows and reflections. This improves the look a bit. Now for the hair. To fix it we will select it and in the material properties change the blend mode from alpha blend to alpha clip. This is a transferring bug that happens with hair for some reason. Our changes made it look better, but still not good. Also you can change roughness setting because the default value is far too reflective for the hair. Overall the conclusion here is that DAWs to Blender Bridge is not optimized for use with EV rendering engine. That is why let's use a second engine, Cycles. Cycles is very similar to iRay by being the realistic, physically based rendering engine. This means that we'll try to simulate materials and especially lighting very close to the real world. I have made this scene that I am going to use for a test rendering. Lighting comes from the Dresden Square HDRI and a sunlight source. 
I will be rendering for 500 samples and will turn denoising on. This is the result of a render. It is immediately much and much better than how character looked in Eevee. Basically everything looks good, the only clear problem I can see is that there are some tearing on the clothes. But it is a minor problem and can be easily fixed. Other than that, a very nice render. Most importantly, it took only 8 minutes and 5 seconds to render on my PC. To compare this with iRay I made a very similar scene in the DAWS studio. There is no sunlight sources in DAWS studio so I have used a distant light, which is close enough. Use the same Dresden Square HDRI as in Blender. Turned on denoising. And set rendering to 500 samples. Let's render this and see how it looks. It looks really good. It is easy to see that this figure was meant to be rendered like this and was created with iRay in mind. If we compare both renders side by side, iRay looks more expressive and catches the eye, but you should understand that iRay has a huge advantage here, and that if you would work on the Blender materials for a bit, they can look a lot better too. iRay render took me 13 minutes and 23 seconds, which is 40% slower than cycles. That is the difference between 10 and 14 hours of rendering, which is huge. Rendering times are one of the biggest cons of iRay overall. In the end, Cycles and iRay are not the same. You can't recreate iRay one to one in Cycles and at the same time render faster. At least it is not that easy. But Cycles allows to create something different and unique instead of copying iRay. So the choice is yours. Besides, Blender offers a lot more than just rendering. You can also change your models, pose them using rig, change their materials, sculpt, edit UVs and so on. And this bridge not only opens people that use DAWS Studio to try Blender, but also allows Blender users to access the huge DAWS 3D library of figures and assets. This video has been based on our DAWS to Blender bridge tutorial that you can check for even more info. Additionally we have a DAWS to Blender bridge FAQ if you have any problems or questions. Also check out our Blender tutorials to learn more about Blender and how to use it. And don't forget that we make DAWS 3D tutorials of all kinds for you to follow. All links you can find in the description of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, to get more inspiration.